10 weeks since I've last been out in the landscape with my camera and boy have I missed it. I've managed to keep myself busy, managed to keep myself entertained and hopefully kept you guys entertained along the way in those 10 weeks with the different formats that I would have had and the Irish Photography Podcast, Vidcast and the special guests. So uh, hopefully now we're getting a bit normal or back to a bit of normal. Uh, I've bit the biscuit, I've come out to a wood that's right next door to my house. I've come here walking many times over the 10 weeks with the kids and I said, you know what, I'm going to get out early in the morning. So it's around 7.20, 7.30 in the morning. Um, nobody here, there generally isn't anybody here anyway because it's a nice secluded wood, but I've come down to this brook uh, that you can see behind me here. And looking down the river, there's quite a lot of debris that I have to kind of take out of the frame, which is not a really good start for a landscape location. But nonetheless, I'm out and I'm going to try and enjoy it. And what I've decided to do here is put the camera down low, close to the water. There's some grasses or reeds, river reeds and stuff like that, uh, which are in the water. And then looking down the, uh, the, the river, down the brook, with some nice side light as well coming in. Now, uh, I don't have my polarizer that I can use anymore because unfortunately when I did lose that, uh, filter holder it had a little ring at the very front of it that you attach your polarizer to now can you believe this this is a small little, tiny tiny piece of metal uh, a circular ring and it costs nearly 50 euro to replace the foundation kit costs nearly 90 euro to replace and then obviously with what i lost that day which was the little stopper which is not 120 euro you're looking at 260 270 euro that went over that cliff that day now i do have another filter holder it was a spare one that I got from a friend of mine um, you know it's a, a cheap Chinese knockoff but it works perfectly fine for my standard filters but it doesn't have that front ring so I can't use my polarizer and ideally a polarizer would be great here because I'm able to see into the water that's in front of me but nonetheless I'm going to take my first shot here anyway try and take out any of the debris try and make it as nice as I possibly can and let's continue explore around the woods I have found one or two areas that would be nice Depends if we get the light or not, it's just gone behind the cloud here. But yeah, it's great to be out anyway. Great to be able to have the camera. Hopefully I can remember how to use it. But yeah, we'll have some fun hopefully this morning.
not far from where I was a moment ago on the um, shore side. I started walking along here and came across, you now I have seen it before, but I kind of missed it almost because when the last time I was here looking at it, there wasn't as much vegetation on the ground, but obviously you now we're in uh, almost the end of May, so you know there is some good vegetation that's grown, but there's a wheelbarrow on the ground, and I wonder why a wheelbarrow would he be here, unless somebody dumped it down the hill that was behind me here, or they brought it in here to do something and then left it behind. But I like the way it's sitting sitting in the reeds or in the um, thorns. But beyond it, there's a bit of a natural arch and there's a bit of a, uh, another green area after that. So what I'm hoping, when I have the light here, we get a nice bit of light that's on the front of this to light up the subject, but we also get another bit of light as well in the distance. And looking then through that arch should light up nicely. Um, so you give you I suppose, a, a different fo uh, photograph and it kind of brings you through as well the scene. Not exactly a award winning landscape photography photograph I don't think but certainly interesting and certainly again getting my mind thinking like it has been in the last 10 weeks but getting a shot here now this morning with the side light should be nice. Settings as well are at f16 because I want to be able to get as long a shutter speed as I can um, even though I've got a 0.9 ND grad on as well. There's nothing much to take off in the sky, but I'm just moving that around to take any glares that are coming from the sun, which is on the right hand side. But yeah, show you this photograph anyway here, and uh, yeah, we'll continue to explore my local woods. another area that I have come to quite a lot but since I've come here I've noticed it getting bigger and bigger I suppose or more dense in regards to the growth but now when I get here finally with my camera it is more or less overgrown so it's stopping me go through an area that I wanted to go through over here but I kind of stopped because as you can see with the light that's coming through here there's some lovely I, I think it looks like a weeping willow tree but I don't think it's weeping willow tree but Effectively, you've got these vines that are coming down here with the sun breaking in behind it. So I'm getting a shot of that. Hopefully, it'll be nice with a bit of a backlight on it. will light up some of the moss as well that we have that's on the bark of the tree. Yeah, slim pickings. I knew it was going to be slim pickings, but still great to be out. Great to be out early in the morning and, you know, listen to the sound of the birds um, and the water that's flowing as well next to me here. So hopefully these shots will be nice. There's one other little area that I want to go to, so I'm going to head off to that right now. Um, and I'll show you these shots and we'll check back in at our final destination. final part now that I've come down to is an area that's normally a bit of a swamp that's within the woods and yet yeah, whilst it has been raining heavily for the last couple of days uh, it's not so bad actually I can walk in around here but I wanted to see um, was there going to be anything really nice to photograph and there's not much but there is a bed of I think they're buttercups I'm not quite sure but some reeds as well that are coming through it some trees as well that are framing nicely now this has, seems to have a bit of cloud come in so Maybe it might work out better that I won't have any highlights to deal with, but trying to create a scene where the, the flowers will kind of lead you up through the image. It's not majorly spectacular, to be honest with you. There's nothing that has been majorly spectacular, but it's about getting out, getting back into it, you know, kind of dusting off the cobwebs per se, and uh, still trying to find some interesting compositions. Settings at the moment, I'm sticking at F16 actually, because I didn't bring the... Um, the, the filter I left it back behind me here because it was such a tight gap to be able to get through to get into this area so 
I'm going to shoot at f16 and just to be on the safe side I'm going to take two photographs one for the sky one for the foreground so that if I do need it afterwards at least I've got that flexibility to be able to blend them together in post overall really happy to get out as I said from the from the beginning uh, we'd like it to be obviously in you know, more epic locations I'm still limited to going uh, 20 kilometers from where I am and whilst there are some nice things to go 20 kilometers I can't really be bothered to be honest with you to go to the local the, the areas that are 20 kilometers for to stay just close by but yeah uh, interesting to get out hope you've enjoyed coming with me and uh, if it's your first time on the channel please do hit that subscribe button consider giving me a like hit me a comment below and until the next time hopefully when we're back out into the real landscape schlong the fold